Hey, what's up guys? Jordan is here once again and today is a special day. This is one of the things that I really, really wanted to do um, coming to Chicago. It's to go to a black barbershop. Remember this part of the video? You must be out of your goddamn mind. Joe Lewis, the greatest boxer ever lived. I'll be with you boys in a minute. He was bad in Cat the Clay. He bad in Sugar Ray. He bad in that. Who that? You, the new boy here. Mike, Mike Tyson looked like a bulldog. He bad in him too. He done whipped Mike Tyson there. He whipped all their ass. That's exactly what I'm gonna go to. So I hope these guys are taking me to the right barber shop where you can see the old people, the old folks they call them, chatting and talking away and wasting time. Just wanna experience that. And then also obviously want to experience a good American barber, a good sharp haircut. Um, I know Amos, you do your thing, but let's see if they can be. Would you ever see Coco here? But you probably do go here. Okay, so unfortunately, as you've seen, it's dead quiet. It's probably the time of the day. Um, but yeah, let's see how it goes. We'll see if we can come back before um, I fly back to UK. But for now, it is dead quiet and also obviously we're looking forward to the initial haircut because it's one of the main important so let's see how that goes let's see i am very grown my hair is grown the top is grown trying to get a nice shape let's see if we we'll get the american look How do you feel? Special. Nation's barber here. Yeah? The whole Chicago. Okay, okay. We'll see. <laughs> okay, so the thing is... My name is Bruce. Bruce? And I'm from the American... UK? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and I want the American touch. Okay. <laughs> so let's see what you can... The name? Okay. <laughs> Your name is? My, na my name is Gabby. Gabby. Okay, so let's see how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. So as you see, I've had a haircut um, in the shop. The fade is good. It's really good. Um, I like the shape part. Um, it's just not my style as you see, that's not how I normally cut my hair, either way, um, I love it. Um, there is one little stress that I'm going through right now actually, and that is I have placed an order for um, the Sony A7R5 and I was looking forward, to it, um, looking forward for it to be delivered today, which it claims that it has been delivered, but over here Things are so complicated. Things are so complicated. If you live in a flat, you get your parcels mixed because they never knock on your door. They just leave it down at the foyer for you to decide to pick it up when, um, however and whenever possible. And um, so this one, I actually got it to deliver to a house. And even then, there is something they call a parcel locker. They leave stuff in there, and then supposedly um, the whole neighborhood have its own lockers, and you go and pick it up. But um, somehow, it's not there, and so we're now driving to USPS again. It's different USPS. Never heard of them. Um, what we know is UPS. So we're driving to USPS. Um, um, delivery depot to find out what's going on 
There is a claim that has been delivered but it's nowhere to be found. There is no note left behind either. That's another thing. Normally you receive a card, we'll have the tracking details on there and some information for you to take it to the depot and collect your parcel. But there's nothing like that left behind either. So let's see um, if we find it at the end of the day. lucky things as i said was very complicated but here it is the sony alpha a7r5 so um let me explain how it works so each house has the usual mailbox um obviously at uk our mailbox is in a door so if anything it goes straight into the door but here they have a separate um, box outside the house that serves maybe five or six houses or their mailboxes in one place and then um, there is a bigger um, box that serves all the community so when a delivery um, parcel is too big to fit in the normal mailbox then they open the bigger mailbox and then they put the parcel in the bigger mailbox and then put the bigger mailbox key inside the smaller mailbox which is your personal mailbox so you open that you take out a smaller key and then you open the bigger mailbox and take out the parcel and then leave the key hanging there it's very complicated but that's the way to do it obviously in UK when the parcel doesn't fit they leave it with uh, your own instructions maybe hide it in, in the bin container the side door the back of the door the garage leave it at the next door neighbor you get all, all these options and the worst one is they will take it back to the depot leave you a card then you just go and collect it simple but here in U US <laughs> things is just so complicated I mean it it makes sense it's simpler but it's just complicated yeah, so I got my hands on it. Um, I'm looking forward to actually taking some nice pictures with that and some B-rolls whilst um, I've got a week left here. And so I'm waiting for a lens to arrive because obviously I can't shoot without a lens. Oh. Good morning, family. Good morning. What's up, my G? How you doing? <laughs> I'm good. What's up guys, Elements here once again and today is the day that the Lord has made. So today we are going to do my favourite activity of the entire journey and uh, it's going to be a blast. But first we are having English breakfast. Alright guys, so today is Thursday and it's approximately 3 o'clock right now, about quarter to 3 and um, McKinnon and um, the weather here is extremely hot, it's a hundred degree outside and we initially wanted to get into jet skiing kayaking and swim in a pool but unfortunately again things here in the US is so complicated I'm a bit dark but we'll make it work um, the McKinnon come this way the pool area has been closed this is outdoor pool uh, four feet deep and that has been closed because they don't have a lifeguard and so it makes makes it very difficult to um, have the activity done because we have kids and some of our wives and our children who are not able to swim so we need somewhere where they can also have a fun time and for that reason we have cancelled 
and we'll pick that up again on Saturday. Saturday the pool will be open so we'll be back on Saturday doing our jet skiing, kayaking and um, pooling if I can use that word. So yeah, right now what we're doing is we're going to the beach, the extreme end of this place and get wet, lay down in the sea a little because it's super hot. Okay guys, this is the funny one. This is how hot it is. The glue on the slippers literally just melted off. So the slippers is a no-go area during this time of the weather. Oh man. Ah. The rock, the rock. Oh. You hurt your toe? Yeah. My big toe. I'm down, bro. Hey, come down, bro. You can send it this. <laughs> it's so much better. You like it, McKinnon? Come. Come, come with daddy. Let's hold me. Oh, come on. Come on. Daddy's here. Ooh. <laughs> okay, this guy is so easy. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. 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 Let's go.